Hey guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So yes, today I am finally back with a new video. And as you can see from the title today, we are playing with the new Life and Death expansion pack that just came out today. Well, depending on whatever day I post this. So without further ado, let's create our first sim ever using the new Life and Death expansion pack. So since we are playing with the new pack, I did go ahead and give her the new traits that the new pack comes with, which I made her Chased by Death and Macabre, which I couldn't give her um, Skeptical because Macabre does conflict with it. So I was only able to give her two out of three traits that the new pack comes with. And for her aspiration, I also went, up, went ahead and chose the, um, I think, I think it's the horror novelist or something like that. So I did go ahead and give her just a quick name. I did just randomize it. I did end up choosing, I think, Madison Sparks, which I think kind of fits her and for the sim i did end up going for more like a kind of gothic look which i do see that i do tend to like do more of just because i really like um the gothic styles especially right now in my current save my off camera save i feel like that's kind of more the style i'm leaning towards which this pack came at exactly the right time um just when i was in need of more gothic type of items so i am really happy that i finally get to play with it um just just for the items alone and although i really like the new hairstyles i do wish we had like less bangs i feel like recently the sims team has been giving us like a lot of hairstyles with bangs so i do wish that in the future we do get a lot more hairstyles without them so here i am just basically creating the sim which kind of did feel weird since I didn't play with any custom content which I don't think I've ever played without any custom content I at least have like my must-have items in the game but for the sake of this video just to play with the new items I did go ahead and play without any custom content For the makeup, I actually really liked it, the two items they gave us. I do wish that we did get more of them, especially a blush and maybe like an eyeliner because I feel like a lot of eyeliners in The Sims are kind of like outdated, so I do think that we do need more of them. So now that I'm done creating my sim, we can finally move on to the actual clothing we get, which we do get two hats which one of them is under like a lock and the hat I actually really like I really like the snake item that it has which we do have a matching male I think it was a jacket or something similar I, I forgot what it was but we do get like clothing item with something similar that the uh, hat has and we actually get six accessories which I actually really like the necklace out of all of them which is kind of more like a choker I guess it does have like a little pendant which I really like it does seem like really gothic and stuff so before we actually see the clothes I did want to go ahead and look at the other accessories which we only do get two well kind of like two and a half one of them are nails and the other is a ring which kind of goes well with the necklace So now we're finally moving on to the clothes and you guys can like pause and like see all of the swatches I did kind of like just fast forward through them especially since I in my opinion we do get like a ton of new clothes which for an expansion pack I really like especially because some of them or, or at least in my opinion some new expansion packs we haven't been getting that many cast items which I'm really thankful that this time we do. So once again, you guys just like want to pause and like see the full detail of the new cast items because a lot of them do have like a ton of, of detail, which is really cool to see because in the past we usually get like um, just like kind of like printed on or like where the mesh is like not 3D at all, which 
for this i do i did see a little bit especially in the buttons you can see here that some of the buttons are kind of like uh, like in the mesh and they're not like really popped out but i don't really mind it because we do get like some pretty swatches and i actually want to say sorry if i miss any of the swatches i was kind of going fast because i couldn't wait to like actually go into the game but yeah um once again sorry if i did miss any of the swatches and i actually also want to say that i was actually live streaming this um on tiktok which you guys can go ahead and follow me on there if you guys like i do post like pretty much everything it's like my both of my channels combined so if you guys are interested in that um go ahead and follow me on there i was gonna live stream this weekend but I actually have to go out of town for the whole weekend i won't be back until monday probably or saturday in the night or sunday maybe i literally have no idea so definitely go follow me over on tiktok if you guys are interested in any of that so that's pretty much it for my voiceover and again sorry if i missed any swatches but i will leave it at that and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and yeah um i'll see you guys at the end
so that is it for today's video so let me know if you guys liked it or not i really like making it especially because usually when i get new packs i don't really like go through any of the new cast items or anything i mostly just stick to like the gameplay so yeah so I, I really had fun like going through all the swatches and getting to know what the new pack comes with so yeah so that's it for me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye